Hey everybody, I wanted to show you guys this Bible. This is the uh, Spurgeon Study Bible in genuine leather. This is goat skin leather. And I got this Bible, actually I bought several of them, and I did an unboxing a few days ago um, for $9 a piece. Uh, these retail for $100. You can usually find them in the $50 range. Um, I think Truth For Life has a special edition that it would have Truth For Life's uh, insignia added to the spine. They're about $30 a piece. Uh, but this one is, uh, we just found an incredible deal. I posted in the Everything Bibles group. A ton of folks were able to take advantage of that uh, before they were all gone at that price. So congratulations to everybody who got one. This is going to be my review of this edition. Uh, so I'm really thankful to have this one, and I'm going to give away the others. Uh, so really excited to be able to do that for an affordable price. So here we go. It comes in this box. This is in a, a two-piece box. Uh, it's not a clamshell. So, uh, and you can see there it's an indexed edition, black genuine leather. And on the back, it'll say goat skin. Uh, but these are printed and bound in China. So the goat skin is a Chinese goat skin, uh, which if, if you're familiar with uh, the differences in different goat skins. Chinese goat skin is sim more similar to calf skin. It's really smooth, uh, which is fine. Uh, here's the ISBN. If you want to check it out, look it up, whatever. That's the index edition uh, for a hundred dollar retail. All right. And here's some information about the edition there uh, with Charles Spurgeon. Now, Spurgeon if you're unfamiliar with Spurgeon, uh, Charles Spurgeon was uh, referred to as the Prince of Preachers, probably one of the most famous uh, preachers of uh, his generation, the 19th century. Uh, really an incredibly inspiring person in my personal life and walk with Christ. Um, his sermons, he wrote tons and tons of sermons and uh, very beneficial to um, most Christians. So, uh, anyway, uh, you can see a lot of the uh, features there. Uh, you have a biography, which is great uh, for Spurgeon, and you have study notes crafted from Spurgeon's sermons. So, let's let's just get this out of the way. There are a lot of people who do not like this Bible because the the notes are not. It doesn't have tons of of uh, specifically. Spurgeon material, uh, but it, it, it the notes are deduced from Spurgeon sermons, uh, so that's kind of the the point of this Bible and why a lot of people don't like it because it, you know you would think a Spurgeon study Bible would be completely packed full of tons of Spurgeon stuff, but it's really not as much full of Spurgeon material. Uh, other than it's going through the text and gives you snippets from his sermons. Uh, so it's it's more of a Spurgeon reading Bible rather than a Spurgeon study Bible. Okay, so let's just get that out of the way. Uh, and if you don't like the Bible, then you give it a big thumbs down. I promise, though, uh, it, it's, it's beneficial. I like the Bible. I have tons of Spurgeon material. I have the lost sermons. I have... Uh, tons of good stuff uh, from Spurgeon, one of my favorite uh, preachers. So I have a lot of his sermons. Uh, but let's let's look let's look at this thing, and uh, we'll get into it. You have Spurgeon's signature on the cover there that has a stitch perimeter. It is a paste down liner, and I'll show you that. But there's the uh, the spine has the three raised ribs, Spurgeon signature at the top, and it is a CSB. So when we open it up, you can see this paste down with the red stitching on the interior, black stitching on the exterior, which is really nice. Uh, this paste down uh, is it's just what well, I wish it was edge lined. It's just not, um, but it is what it is. So, and then you have your little leatherette end sheet, a presentation page, and uh, the Spurgeon Study Bible. Uh, title page again I, I wish that they would have named this the Spurgeon uh, reading Bible because it's it's more that than anything um, but I, and I'll show you that in just a second so here's a publication page you have five different uh, 
options. You have a cloth over board and you have the leather touch additions uh, and then you have the genuine leather with and without indexed uh, sides. So this one is indexed and it has the black for the Old Testament, red for the New Testament and you have uh, some cool features in here. You have your contents and then you have the biography of Charles Spurgeon and the C.H. Spurgeon is Charles Haddon Spurgeon. Uh, so, and, and this is pretty much if you study the Bible, you've heard of Spurgeon. And, and most of you probably know of Spurgeon's uh, biography um, and kind of his call into ministry. Uh, be sure to, you can check out other YouTube videos. There are some, there are some great YouTube biographies on Spurgeon. Uh, this written biography is really good uh, as well. You have Spurgeon quotes, like an index of Spurgeon quotes. It's a lot of Spurgeon quotes. So people that say that there's not a, not enough Spurgeon in here, uh, there's really a lot of Spurgeon throughout. Um, but it's just not comprehensive Spurgeon, and it's not comprehensive study. That's why uh, it's neither a completely Spurgeon uh, Bible, and it's neither a completely study Bible. I think that's where a lot of people find it has shortcomings. Um, anyway, all right, so here you have book introductions, which is typical of a study edition, uh, but with, uh, you know, it's more of a typical uh, study intro, and then you have Spurgeon on Genesis, which is pretty cool, and it gives kind of his, his uh, perspective. Now, this is what's neat. Uh, you have your text, you have some sermon uh, quotes uh, with relationship to the text you're in. And then the notes down here are from uh, bits of different sermons. Uh, it's not completely uh, it's not completely like scholarly worthy. It's not like a scholarly, uh, endeavor for the study notes it's more of a preacher's perspective on certain parts and they get that from sermons okay so that's why I'm saying it's not completely a study edition it's more like you're reading the text along with um, a director's commentary okay so it's it's more like a, a commentary from uh, Spurgeon if you're reading a, it along with Spurgeon and that's why I was saying that the, the it might be better named as the the Spurgeon's Reading Bible. Here's a here's some cool things. You'll have these uh, these sermons, these sermon outlines of the actual page of the sermons, and then the page beside it is a typed out. Uh, you know, you just it it translates it for you basically. I mean, it's not this is in English. That's in English. But some of this stuff might be harder to read. So you can see how they line up, uh, you know, what they're typing out with what's on the, the handwritten page. And it, and it links you to Spurgeon uh, because you can, you can see that. And if you get the Lost Sermon series, uh, it's like that. You'll have one side that's written, one side that's typed out. Uh, so you can actually read what he had written. And then throughout the text, it's a it's a ten point font, double column uh, layout, uh, and and you have the notes but no references. Uh, you do have little quotes uh, written in, uh, and and I don't think this is Spurgeon's own handwriting. I think it's it's made to mimic his handwriting, um, but I, I might be wrong. It just looks a little too uniform. Uh, but the the actual font does look like his handwriting but it's not specifically his handwriting uh what else do we have let me go back to this little section all right so you have the illustration uh number and it'll uh it gives a, a description of it let's see what else i mean that's that's really basically it. As I'm going through, you're going to have quotes from Spurgeon and the notes. See, like this section doesn't have any notes. Uh, and you'll have 
uh, some little textual notes that you would get from the CSB anyway. Uh, and then you'll come to sections where he has sermons for these sections, and you'll have some notes that are deduced from his sermons. Uh, so in, in the end, you have a lot of sections where there are no notes because he might not have preached sermons from that section that we have record of. Uh, and that's why I say that it's not a completely scholarly uh, study Bible, but it's more of a, of a reading Bible uh, with a Spurgeon uh, uh, influence. And it, again, it's more of the same. You have the, the quotes put in there in the handwriting. And the best part about this Bible is, uh, is the full sermon outlines that are included within which that's, that's my favorite part, seeing his personal handwriting and reading along with it because these are actual his sermon outlines, uh, and that's just really neat. And you, you'll read along with it, and you'll see the Spurgeon quotes, uh, but it's not, it's not like it's Spurgeon on every page. You, you'll just have Bible on several pages, um, and I think that's where a lot of people felt like it was a little bit of a letdown. I personally like it. I love Spurgeon, uh, but I love uh, I love just reading the Bible for myself. Uh, so it's not like it's a big deal to me. Then again, I didn't spend a hundred dollars on this edition. I spent nine dollars on this edition, and uh, I'm going to really enjoy it. It is a sewn binding. Before I get into any any more sewn binding with the with the multicolored head head and tail bands with two ribbons. Uh, again, it's a 10 point font. The notes are in an eight point font. So all of this is very readable and uh, it's, it's really nicely done. It is line matched in the text portions, uh, but it does get a little jumbled in the bottom because some sections have notes, some don't. Uh, the note sections, as you can see, are in a, are in a quad column, four columns uh, typically, and uh, which I think still is, is really nice. I would love to have seen uh, a little more contrast because a lot of these numbers, these verse numbers and chapter numbers and the outlines are in a dark green, which I think blends really closely with the black. So it doesn't give as much contrast as, I, uh, as you've seen with like when they do the dark blue or dark red coloring. Uh, so even though it's a multicolored text, you don't really get that a lot. Uh, it's very subtle because the green and the black look very similar. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Now the Psalms, it's well known that, that, uh, that Spurgeon taught through the Psalms. So you're going to have a lot more notes in the Psalms because he had a lot more sermons from the Psalms. And, uh, and then again, sections like the Proverbs right here, you're not going to have many notes because he didn't teach through that as much. At least we don't have the the uh, sermon notes to put in there. Anyway, so that's kind of my take on it. Uh, I will show you the New Testament. He preached a lot more in the New Testament, so you're going to have more of these quotes and notes throughout the New Testament. Uh, so that's pretty helpful. But then again, it's it's weighted. It just depends on uh, the sermon, uh, the sermon accessibility, and uh, the fact that that there. Are, there are things that, since these are not scholarly notes, uh, they're more sermon reference notes, uh, then you're not going to have notes for everything. So it's not really a study Bible, as I've said. So anyway, let's get to the back and show you the back of this edition. I think you kind of get the point of what I'm trying to show you uh, with regard to uh, the, the nature and usability of this edition. Again, the green was probably a little bit of a poor choice, in my opinion. Not sure why they chose the green as the accent color. Uh, it looks really nice in, in this light. It looks nice, but again, I would love to have seen more, uh, more contrast with maybe a different color or, or something. So uh, you have this concordance. Let me get to the start of it. And the concordance has the page number in in uh, in green, the the top directive in green, 
like up here the the word in green the number in green the rest is in black uh, but again you you don't have much contrast because the green and the black kind of look similar let's pass through this concordance it's a pretty decent sized concordance very usable uh, but again not really a study Bible so anyway then you have maps in the back and uh, only a couple maps a few maps and they're on this uh, matte finished cardstock really my favorite well done thank you uh, for that and then the end of the edition you have the the leatherette uh, end sheet and the paste down and then on the back you can see it says goat skin leather on the back of the cover because it is the genuine leather and uh, bound in China this is my review for it let me know what you think about the the Spurgeon study Bible is it properly named the Spurgeon study Bible should it be uh, is it more aptly named the Spurgeon reading Bible like I'm talking about do you I mean do you understand what I'm saying as far as the um, the lack of, of uh, comprehensive study notes uh, and it's not Spurgeon everywhere so it's not really one or the other let me know what you think in the comments be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos again thanks uh, for watching and God bless